Let's do this. Let's go exploring. Let's go and see if we can find Life Pod 12. What's going to be in Life Pod 12? Who knows? Who bloody knows? Let's find out. It's a long way away. And it's quite deep. I can see that. But this thing can go... It can go to 300. Right. So the third one didn't seem to actually help. Sadly. 300 is decent depth though. For now. Different. It's deeper than I've been myself. Mostly. A couple of times I went deeper than that. But not many times. I think I've been this way before. It's hard to tell about a map. I need to make that HUD thing. Maybe I get a HUD scan on my map. On oh, my HUD. A map on my HUD. I don't know, something like that. What's this biome? Uh, oh, yeah, I've been to this one before. One with the red plants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Ooh, what are these? This is new. This is all new. I haven't seen these before. Are these aggressive? Are you aggressive? Or are you cute? I want to scan it. Where's my scanner? It's a little lit up. Ah! Oh, tree mushroom. What are you? Jelly ray. I've learned what a jelly ray is. Let's go and have a let's go and read up on the jelly ray. Right. So, data bank, fauna, herbivores, jelly ray is a herbivore, that's good. Shares some evolutionary traits with the rabbit ray. Oh. Highly poisonous flesh. Species has adapted to low light environments. Light up surrounding areas for foraging. Ward away predators. Identify the organism to others of its kind. That's what the lights are, I guess. Smaller creatures have been seen swimming in the jelly ray's wake. Hmm. Inedible. Well, they're cute, that's for sure. Big old trees, aren't they? This is like coral trees. Oh. Swimming through a whole load of fish right now. Oh, it's big, this place. What are you? <laughs> You're weird. Like a mushroom forest. Oh. Oh, this is the aurora. Is this the aurora? This is the is right next to the aurora all this time. This this mushroom biome I've never seen. How have I missed it? I guess it's quite deep down. Is that an egg? <gasps> is that a jelly ray egg? Oh, that'd be amazing to get in an aquarium. Shit, I'm keeping that one. Oh, what's that? There is something here. A trap? Cyclops hole? Oh my god! I knew there was going to be something awesome here. Oh shit! Okay, let's find some more of them. So we're looking for Cyclops fragments. Aha! There's one. And two. Oh, it's a bridge fragment. Maybe the whole lock? Oh, this, that, that's supposed to be the third part then. The bridge, the engine, and the hull are the things I have to find. Oh, and there's one there. It looks like the wheel. Okay, okay. This is promising. We need two more bits. And then we can make ourselves a cyclops. I'm pretty super excited about making a cyclops. Aha, there's a bit. That's the bridge. Need one more bit of hole, I think, and that's it. <gasps> there it is. Oh my god! This has been the best journey ever. I can make a cyclops. Oh yeah! Let's have a look. Uh, let's go inside the thing before we have a look. <laughs> right. What does it cost? Cyclops. So the Cyclops is five plaster steel, five enamel glass, that's five more teeth I've got to get. Two lubricant and advanced wires. I can do that. And that is just all of, that's it. That's not too bad. 
There's a lot of... A lot of teeth. That's the hardest bit. And a lot of titanium. But other than that, that's not too bad at all. I can do that. I can do that. Oh, yeah! Right, let's take a journey to this place. Life for 12, and then we'll head back and, like, farm stuff for our uh, Cyclops. Oh, I can build a Cyclops! Yeah, yeah! I can build a Cyclops! Ooh. Oh, this is a biome I haven't seen before as well. Whoa! Whoa, motherfucker! What are these? I really want to scan these things, but my god, this place is teeming. All right, screw that. I'm going past it. I'm nearly at my max depth. Wow! What is this place? This place is amazing. What are these? I want to scan one of these just to find out what it is. It's a pick me bottle bush. And that means this must be a bold bush. Giant bold bush. Where's the regular bold bushes? That sounded scary. Ah. Uh, no, we're good. Uh, detecting volcanic activity. Unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. Exercise caution. Yes, yes, yes. Medium bold bush. There we go. And this one was just right. Bold bush sample. Eat. No. Delicious. Well, there's food here at least. Ah, there's a the life pod. Okay. Let's check it out. What's this thing? This is a chest. Data box. We've got a chip. Oh, fucking hell. Electric eels. Can I get inside this thing? Oh, it's ripped open. Oh, that's, I thought it looked like in good nick then. Banned PDA. Okay, we got the cruise data. Man, look at those things. Oh shit, this. They're getting close. Whoa! My god. Right, so they've got. We've got a new message as well, which means this this icon means, I guess. Um, so let's have a look at this. Uh, no, no, no. Tree, uh, tree mushrooms we can read about. Nah, boring. Um, life pods. Life pod 12. I'm not a doctor. I know that's what my ID card says, but I've never, I never have been. You know how I passed those medical exams, planted a scanner on top pocket, and fed the instructions to an earpiece. Who wouldn't? What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? What the hell? So this was the ship's doctor, but it was rubbish. Uh, well, he's good at his job because everything is done like by machines. That he just pressed a button and it did it. Um, what good is a damn scanner when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding all over. He doesn't know how to fix himself. Whoa! Oh, it's a small fish. <laughs> I've got a glowing green. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. Fabricate a first aid kit. It says. Sure, I remember sitting in the lecture theatre and chatting to that pretty thing in the row behind me. The hell do I know how to make bleach and clean a wound? I think I'm going to die down here. Wow, sucks to be you, mate, because I, uh, I did all that pretty easy. And we're home. Oh, it's good to be back. It really is. It does feel like home now. It really does. That's because we've got a giant base with lots of stuff and food and all sorts. Right. Oh, let's go and eat some melons. <laughs> God, I love melons. Who needs water when you can eat melons? Message? We got a message. High priority, priority automated message from LifePod 13. Quartz attached LifePod contains the last known remains of passenger emissary, Jockey Casa. I said, Jockey Casa, why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Right. No, we should do that. We should do that, really, shouldn't we? We can... We can on the way, we can collect titanium, because we need a lot of titanium. And uh, if we see any things that can give us teeth, we will also collect that. That sounds handy dandy. Here we go. Wonder where this is going to take us. Into this biome. Which one was this? This is like... Red plants. I'm gonna call this a red plant biome. Ooh, 
what the hell? I had not seen this before. This is a big, oh my god. Jelly trees. It's like jellyfish trees and snakes. I'm not sure about the snakes. Ugh. Oh, they're pretty horrible. Well, man, I should have built like a whole lot of beacons and like planted them around. Possibly predatory life forms. Try to anticipate un unanticipated threats. What is this place all about? I want to go and scan. It's scanning time. What's this thing? Oh, piss. Oh, ah! Crab snake! Crab snake! Shit. Fucking. Fuck that! I'm coming back when I got a missile launcher or some shit. Holy shit. How do I get out of this place? <laughs> oh, I knew that was something bad, but I didn't think they'd be that bad. They look smaller from a distance. Looks like this guy is in. past this. Oh, this gets deep. Ooh, what's down here? Oh, this is the... Oh, this is the trees again. Okay. Is this another trees? Because... It can't be the first tree, because they were near the Aurora, right? And I don't think I am. Nah, I'm not near the Aurora. Okay, this must be a second tree forest. Mushroom tree forest. Right, there's a life pod. Let's see what we can see data pad I'm sure what those chips are for don't really do anything life pod 13 you wouldn't want to be on that one unlucky for some especially this guy PDA oh my battery torture out of power okay let's get in Back in the sea moth and have a look at this uh, this guy. See what he says. Right. Life pod 13 emissary's voice log. Life pod systems online. Passenger 7. Emissary Johi Kassar has boarded the life pod. Life pod launch sequence. Life pod detached from Aurora. Okay. Kassar! My cre creators. The cherishers and sustainers of worlds. Give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. Hmm. It's a prayer, I guess. Entering planetary atmosphere, external temperature approaching critical levels. Show me the path in life, truth and love. For mine is the power. I am the one. On and off and on again. Exterior hold damage sustained. Life port systems failed. Impact imminent. Life is a game. <laughs> Which the universe plays with itself. I am done playing this bundle of flesh. Return me, Atham. Okay. Has it giving us a lot of information, other than the fact that this guy crashed? A lot of these life pods weren't very good. <laughs> Why do they all fail so horribly? Salvage. Getting some salvage. Uh, so, because we need we need fifty or forty or fifty titanium. Um, in order to get these ingots, so that's quite a lot. So we're gonna have to pick up a lot of salvage. Wanna get that much? That's like 10 salvage. Um, what's this? Oh, just a big bit of salvage. So we've got a bunch there. What's th oh, is that just fish? Man, this game is beautiful. It really is. Can I carry more? No. Need four slots for it. Okay, yes. You probably carry a couple of teeth. Have I got a teeth on me? Yeah, I do. One. Congratulations, Survivor. You've exceeded your weekly exercise quota by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favourite activity. Oh my god. Um, well, I've got the I've got the stalker tooths. I've got four of them. Four stalker tooths, so I can make five enamel glass now, I think. If I go back home. Uh, and we can turn some of that scrap into titanium. And then go out. Oh, there's another tooth. Oh my god. Let's get the fifth tooth. What can I throw away, though? Uh, let's drink some... Let's eat, let's eat a, a hollow fish. Or dr drop it. <laughs> Whole fish. 
Nice. Stalker teeth everywhere. Oh, there's, they're ev oh my god, they're ri literally everywhere. You just gotta sit here and, like where stalkers are and they just end up dropping teeth everywhere. What can I drop? Um, oh man. A battery? Drop a battery. We've got loads of batteries. A tooth is worth more than a battery. Alright. Let's get out of here. Teeth galore. Oh yeah, so many teeth. Do, do, do. I've got more teeth than a monster. What's this icon? Oh, it's a, the scanner room, isn't it? Cameras, the two cameras. Let's go over this and see what happens. Oh, that's not the blow up thing. <laughs> oh, I guess nothing happens. Ooh. We're fine in the Seamoth. All right, we're home. We've got the teeth. We checked out the dead life pod. The guy uh, made his prayers and then and then maybe got eaten by some kind of sea creature because he wasn't there. Um, but yeah, we're good. Other than that, we we got loads of teeth, so we can make lots of enamel glass. So uh, we can make lots of uh, lots of uh, uh, titanium as well from the scrap that we picked up. Hopefully next time we'll, we'll be able to build a Cyclops submarine and go on super adventures everywhere, all around the world. I don't know. We'll see. Until then, goodbye.